Hello, I'm Robin Greaves. We are here today at Green Hills Butterfly Ranch, which is in the Cayo district of Belize. My family and I purchased this butterfly farm, which includes a large tract of natural forest. And our motivation to buy the farm originally was to conserve the rainforest. The butterfly farm was already in existence when we purchased it. Uh, what we did was immediately develop the farm. We invested quite a bit of money and we now employ 10 full-time people on the farm from the local village producing butterflies and giving tourist tours around the butterfly production centre. Our main motivation here is not only to preserve our own forest but to encourage other people in the neighbouring districts of the importance of preserving the forest. Uh, the biggest asset that Belize as a country has is their coral reef. It's the biggest tourist attraction and it's probably one of the most pristine remaining pieces of coral reef on the planet. I firmly believe that the coral is pristine and the condition of the coral as it is today is largely a result of the fact that Belize still has something like 65% of its forest remaining. Um, and I also believe that without the forest, the coral will quickly degrade. All the rivers in Belize that run into the ocean, the water runs clean. And that's due to the fact that all the heavy rainfall is filtered by the forest. If the forest is cleared for agriculture or for timber or for any other kind of production, the, I believe the coral reef will quickly degrade. Second to the coral, the forest in itself, we have very rich flora and fauna here. On our property, we have a large viable population of jaguars. Only yesterday I was walking with my manager Eric in the forest. We found evidence of the presence of tapirs. We have very rich bird life. We have something like 60 different species of snakes occurring on the property. The total mammalian numbers on the property are probably about 80 different species of mammal. So just on this small piece of forest here, the biodiversity is, is huge. If you cut the forest and cleared it and planted bananas or palm oil or any of the things that a lot of people seem to be trying to do now, the, that biodiversity would go. And also the environmental impact on the coral reef in the ocean would be catastrophic. So just to sum up what we're doing here, uh, we purchased this piece of forest. Our primary objective is to preserve the forest. By farming butterflies, we're providing productive employment for the local community. Every person that's employed here at Green Hills is a professional. Nobody here is just employed as a farm laborer. We employ people who we train and educate to be lepidopterists or to be botanists. Some of the people are both. They do the lepidoptery and they also do the botany. We envisage if we continue to expand at the rate at which we are by the end of 2020, our aim is to have 20 people employed. All of those will be employed from the local community. We can do that without having to cut down any trees, without harming in any way the environment or the flora or the fauna. We're providing professional employment and the main source of income is by exporting butterfly pupa to the US and uh, also to the UK and to Europe. Ultimately we're preserving the forest, we're employing the people and then another big role that we play here within the community is educating the local school children about the importance of preserving the forest and preserving all the flora and fauna and the fact that the natural environment and the natural wonders of Belize are far more valuable than any economic gain that would be derived from farming palm oil or coconuts or, or bananas or carrots or anything or oranges. So by educating the children at an early age about the value of the flora and the fauna here, hopefully we're planting the seeds which will enable Belize to retain a lot of its natural wonders long term. And uh, that's basically our mission plan here. We're also trying to encourage neighbor, neighboring landowners to preserve their forest. And anybody that has land that's already been cleared, we also um, have established quite a significant tree nursery producing indigenous trees, which we will gladly give 
to neighbouring landowners uh, to enable them to rehabilitate land and put it back the way it should be. Um, as you can see in the background here, this forest. So that's really what we're doing here. And I hope uh, everybody finds that interesting and I hope people will take the time to come and explore the natural wonders and the beauty of Belize. And while you're here, come and visit Green Hills Butterfly Ranch.